Hi everyone, welcome back to Ms. Technology. Today I'm going to show you how to take apart a couple sprinklers. Right here I have a Hunter PGP rotor, a Hunter Pro spray, and I have an old model for Rainbird 1800. So first we'll start off with rotors. So what you can do is you might need some pliers, but you just take off this cap right here. It might be tight. And take apart that until you can loosen the body. Now in here I don't have a check valve, it's just a normal spray head. Here's your filter. I'm going to get some needle nose to take that out. Got some needle nose. Fit that in the grooves. Then you'll be able to pry out the filter. See, that's a Hunter PGP filter. And then you got a little spring in there that shows the water indication. Then you got the spring. Then if you pop that up, see the nozzle. Then the spring, and then if you take this cap off, you can see that the seal comes off and then you can take off the spring and then have the normal spray head. So to assemble it, you should have five pieces, spring, the cap, the body piece, the filter that I already put in, and then the seals. First what you're going to want to do is put on your spring, it doesn't matter which way. You're going to want to put on your seal over your spring. Put, push that spring down, pop over the seal. Then while you're holding down the seal on this, you want to put your cap down. And then push it on. And it's pretty hard to do. And then until it will lock in here. And then put your cap back in. Make sure your filter is installed. Line it up. Turn it. And you're ready to get back to work. Now I'll do the Hunter Pro Spray. So these are my favorite sprays. Hunter is my favorite industry. So the cap will come off. I like their co-molded wiper seal. It doesn't annoy me if I have to separately take it off. I like, the, I like it. Then there's the spring. You pop it up, I have a K-Rain rotary nozzle on it. I will take that off. You won't be paying attention to this. And then you got no nozzle, so it will just come right off. Now I like their double active spring, a very strong spring, ratcheting stem. And to put this one back together, you put in the spring, like I said last time, no matter which way you put it, put in your coal molded wiper seal, push that down, put your hunter cap in, and you'll have this, put in whichever nozzle you got. Pop it back up, put, a, put your cap back in, and you're ready to go. And then the ratcheting stem, like I said, you pull it up, and then you can adjust it just like that. So now let's move on to the old but trusty Rainbird 1800. Now this is an old one from my yard. The wiper seal is damaged, so it's bad. No foot check valve. So same with the Hunter Pro Spray, just not with the commoded wiper seal and this is connected. So if you want to take it all apart, unscrew the nozzle. Take out your filter. Pull that up. You got your wiper seal. Take out the spring. You got your normal riser. Then to put it back together, put the spring in. Push this over. Put your cap on. Line it up with that seal. Put in your filter. Put your cap on. Make sure it's tight. This does not have a ratcheting stem like the Hunter Pro Spray does. Line it up with these grooves, 
with these grooves to these grooves, just like this. It might take you a minute. Push it in, tighten it as tight as you can, and that's it. So I do have a Rainbow 5000 model. Um, the Hunter PGP is just like that. So same procedures, same everything. Just Hunter's a little bit different than K-Rain and Rainbird. So I hope this helped you, replacing a sprinkler maybe. Um, like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions. And I'll see you in the next video.